Hello everybody, coming to you from the Catskills. I apologize if there's a background noise. I'm doing some generating back over there by the cabin. So you might hear the generator sound. I wanted to do a little show and tell on my new Frontier Tank 200 scooter. It is a GY6 clone of the Yamaha uh, Zuma. I believe that uh, I think this body style came out around 2022, maybe 20, yeah, 22, I think. Um, nice looking bike, very solid, very sturdy looking, uh, sturdy feel, beefy front tires, disc brakes front and back, dual shocks in the front, and uh, of course dual shocks in the back as well. Um, nice looking bike. What I liked about this was the price tag, primarily. I got it inexpensively, but I also bought it used. It only had about 500 miles on it, so it was virtually new. Um, although, um, there are a couple of things that I wanted to talk about that I didn't like. But first, I want to go over the stuff that I do like. I love the front rack that it comes with. I love the... Well, let me put it this way. I like the hand grips. It's the first time I ever had a bike that had the, uh, the hand protectors, I should say, the hand guards. But honestly... They don't do very much to uh, guard your hands from the wind or anything. Um, I don't find them to be all that effective for that. I can see other hand guards, the ones that hook into the to the end of the handlebar down here. I can see other ones that might protect it if you dump it over, right? It might uh, protect some damage on your levers, but um, as far as protecting your hands, uh, you're far better off with either heated hand grips or put, you know, one of those uh, uh, hot shots. They're little um, heater pad, heater things that you open up and shake around and uh, and they generate heat by rusting iron. And then you stuff them in your gloves and keep your hands warm for about eight hours. I think they'll do a much better job. Um, let me circle around the bike. Talk a little bit. Uh, goes okay with passenger. Uh, you can tell there's a passenger on the back when you're, when you're riding. Uh, it does change the performance. Speaking of performance, it goes well. Pickup is good. There seems to be good power. This is a 168cc um, GY6 uh, carbureted engine. Uh, there's good power, but it just maxes out, and then you're done at about 50 miles an hour. You can get to 52, 53, and then uh, it just won't go anymore unless you're going down a hill with a big stiff wind behind you. I don't think I've... I might have made it up to 60. I think I got... I saw the speedometer blip once or twice at 60, and that's it, but... I'm in the Catskills, and I'm going down some pretty steep hills, so um, she's got she's got it in it, but uh, I, just, I think there's carbureted issues. Like I said, I bought it used. I think somebody's been doing some hanky-panky with, uh, with a carburetor before. Um, the intake is not good. Um, the, the thing was leaking gas all over the intake, and then it soaked the air intake filter, and uh, <laughs> I just think uh, I'm going to redo that whole thing. I... I'm not an expert in carbs, so I'm just going to replace it with a slightly, I think it comes stock with a 24 millimeter. I'm going to bring it up, and the 24 millimeter fits on the 150. Um, I'm going to bring it up to a 26 millimeter, so just a touch bigger, and I'm going to have a better uh, air intake filter on that, and hopefully that'll get me a little better performance and better gas mileage. Uh, when I first got it, of course it was winter time, so I'm... I'm not judging too harshly, but I was only getting some, like, about 45 miles to the gallon out of this thing, and uh, not happy. Was not happy with that. And then the next time, as the weather was a little warmer, and I'm riding around, and I took my sweet wife for a bit of a spin, and I came out, and I was getting 54 miles to the gallon, and I was really happy with that until I realized that that sucked. Um, my Honda Trail gets 100 miles to the gallon. My Himalayan gets 75 miles to the gallon. That's 400 cc's. So, uh, for this thing to get 54, uh, not good. So, I'm hoping that a new carb will fix all that. Let's see, what else? Um, so, that's what I don't like. Performance-wise, it's about the same as my trail, as my Honda trail. It'll, uh, it clips along at about 50. Uh, at the steepest hills, I've dropped down to about 30. I can't get over 30 and maybe 29, you know, when it's really climbing these big ones that really should be switchback hills, but... Seems in the Catskills, nobody understands the concept of switchbacks. They just go like, let's go, straight up. Uh, give it. 
so you got to send it up those hills. I like the looks of the front headlights. I've had opportunity through necessity to use these at night and these are good headlights. Um, they're nice and bright. The low beam cuts off so it's not um, it's not going to be blinding anybody. Uh, it's got this it's got a I don't know some shield some light blocker there that, that draws the line a horizontal line before it gets to the mirrors of the cars in front of you so it doesn't drive them nuts but when you put it on high speed or on high beam um, it lights it up pretty well so I'm pleased with the headlights lighting's good it's all LED all around got a nice trunk for the back the trunk works really well I drove up here from Queens it's about a 200 mile run it took me five hours but I took my time so I'm not blaming uh, the bike for that kind of timing um, uh, thing ran great the thing ran really well until I got here and then uh, all of a sudden she quit on me and it turned out the, the spark plug cap had popped off so thankfully that was an easy fix but um, yeah there I was at the side of the road I'd left all my tools at the cabin and I'm down at the bottom of the mountain when my bike quits so I wasn't looking forward to pushing it uphill so desperation drove me to feel around and there it was the, <laughs> the spark plug cap was off clipped it back on and away she went so I'm happy I'm very happy I hope you like the bike um, if you're thinking about buying one my overall impression so far is that I think I think it's better than um, I think I, I think it's better than the price tag warrants I really think it's a good value um, you need to be conversant with mechanics you don't have to be an expert but you need to understand small engines to a certain degree and be able to fix the basics particularly the carburetors um, you're gonna want to know a little bit about the CVTs I would say study them uh, for changing the belts you're gonna have to change belts probably pretty frequently on this um, you're gonna need to know to get to the CVT, you're probably going to need to know about how to remove one of those Kickstarters. Everything has got YouTube videos, so you can learn about that fairly easily. But um, do become familiar, because if you're the kind of person that just takes it to the shop and has them fix it, then this could end up costing you more than the price tag of this bike. But um, the repairing and those basics are pretty easy, as long as you know what you're doing. Um, and, you know, you can learn. I think you'll be fine. It's a good bike. I'm very pleased with it. And uh, let's just uh, hope and pray that it gets me home again after this weekend.